Hi there, ladies, because we're live, very extreme, aggressive, snowstorm, Northern England, weather forecast, UK 23. Times down there, the date today is the 10th of March, 2023. This is very serious weather forecast video for you today. On the 10th of this March, is not where Friday. you want to be in the early hours on a freezing cold night, stuck on the M62 in Greater Manchester. People Are you guys crazy? Treacherous conditions, and the forecasters weren't wrong. Been stuck here now for three hours, coming from Manchester, um, and it doesn't seem like these situations getting any easier. Um, we've had gritters and police come up to try and help, but we're at standstill again. You can hear the wind whipping up. In Wakefield overnight, the snow has been continuing to fall, adding to what's already lying on the ground. We may be in meteorological spring, but in places, it's been looking... Ah, oh, we got back another hour. <laughs> the worst affected areas could now see up to 40 centimetres of snow, accompanied by winds of 50 miles an hour, leading to blizzard conditions and significant disruption. Much of the UK remains under yellow weather warnings for snow, ice or strong winds, with roads and railways likely to be affected. But overnight, three areas were under the more severe amber warnings, with the possibility of power cuts and rural communities getting cut off. In Northern Ireland, affected by those warnings, actually getting into your car might prove tricky. While in Oldham, the gritters have been out in force. We've been out gritting since uh, midnight, and well as that, we will be over the next 24 hours. This is what we plan for our day today. Um, but yes, it puts a huge resource and a huge stress on um, staffing levels and day to day management. Rail passengers are being told to check before they set off. Great Northern and Mersey Rail warning of problems. Nearly 300 schools were closed across Wales because the school grounds were too icy or staff couldn't get in. Many across the UK Blimey. were expected to shut again today. Not that the children were complaining. Setting <laughs> two in Shetland, one father I did that was the days ago. when he spotted a rare snow. Wow, tornado! No tornado. A night in the snow, the big Incredible weather, Wales. More days. Simon Jones. There you go, the guys. It's how bad the weather is across the UK. So let's see how it is this morning. Get the very latest from North yeah, Wales. Our warned. correspondent, Phil McCann, is there. Wow, that's the motorway. This morning. First, though, let's speak to Murray Smith, who's in the village of Ailey Top in West Yorkshire. And wow, that's right, where my great aunt lives. A few times this morning. Bring us Beautiful. Right I hope she's all right. She's very old. At least on one of the carriageways, uh, uh, moving very slowly. Somewhere slow. in the 90s, I think. Great, great aunt. Very slowly indeed, Charlie. It has got worse throughout the morning. first, yeah, I think, the area she lives in New York. Was, you know, moving okay, but throughout the morning, it has got really, really treacherous. The snow started to fall here yesterday afternoon. It hasn't stopped. And people who do believe that these journeys that they're making are still necessary have taken to the roads, taken to the motorways. But where I am, you can see behind me that the traffic is moving really, really slowly on the westbound side. Uh, police cars have just tried to get through, so there must be something just a little bit further on up there. It must be an accident with something, perhaps. Very few cars on that motorway, but this was an area that had big, big problems overnight. Uh, you know, we've been told by National Highways, junctions 20 to 20. They were told not to travel, they did. How stupid cars. are they? Do they listen to the Met Office? I spoke to some people this morning <laughs> who had to spend the night on chairs in a hotel because the cars that they were in got stuck on A roads after they oh, dear, were down first. Me. A group of girls had been to a gig in Manchester. A Leeds fan had gone to watch Manchester United re beat Real Betis at Old Trafford. But none of them have got home, and that story will continue. The amber weather warning in place here until midday. Uh, Murray, thank you. Let's take you to North Wales with Phil McCann, who's in mould for us this morning. OK, it feels like when we spoke to you in the last hour, the snow was coming down pretty heavily. It feels like that stopped, but I'm still not seeing many cars. It looks like people are being quite careful and mindful of the warnings. 
Uh, yeah, it was coming down very heavily actually the last time I spoke to you just before. This is tense snow, guys. This is tense. About two hours before that, it was very heavy. It's let up quite a bit now, and there are, well, quite a few cars out and about. The local course, like SSW up at 10, 10 HP, and filtering down to 30 HP, the weather takes place. It's not pole. To travel. They also took We're going on those for months now, aren't we? Here you go. All of the schools in this borough. Uh, yesterday, there were around 300 schools across Wales from here in the northeast of Wales all the way across the Gwyneth on the west coast and parts of south wow. as well. Schools in all closed. those areas were closed um, yesterday. Just as I was driving here this morning, I live about 20 minutes away normally, it took me uh, at least double that and very difficult to drive on some of the more exposed parts of the routes that, that go across. It's darker the up there, that's why. The roads in North Wales. So there are actually major routes that connect communities. And it's higher ground, especially. the last couple of days because they do have to uh, traverse uh, that kind of higher ground. Uh, but this town is waking up this morning. The road's undoubtedly quieter because the schools are closed, but still you've just seen there somebody walking presumably on their way to work. And there are two classes of people that you can't stop from coming out in the mornings, whatever the weather, both of whom I've seen this morning. I've seen, oh, this going quite fast. I've seen quite a few dog walkers. Four by four. And a few moments ago, I even saw someone out for a jog. <laughs> Phil, thanks so much. Very brave, very, very brave. brave. Have you heard from Raid, and from Phil, of course there is a lot of disruption out there and the advice so is, is only travel if you absolutely need to. There are also plenty of you who love the snow. There will be some children out there who are looking out the windows. <laughs> I'm one of them. <laughs> and maybe there is good enough space. Brilliant for weather forecast, so I'm well done. Minutes. Send in your snow pictures. This is how you can do it. So I like this video, please a thumbs up. Please subscribe to Mission Sun Gems or the Force be with you. Quite my nice spot and the need to know many out way needs to this is my friend's parking gym on the ITF Friday feed and so Hills Race Station every Friday at 3 to 5 p.m. and this is that 1500, 1700 p.m. and listen to me on Lowish every Sunday 9 to 12 p.m. with Matt and John on the Wake Race Station show. I'm literally the best of a man in the galaxy. I'm literally Houdini. I did forecast this weather. Well in advance over a week, even further back than that, like months ago, guys, in January. I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe to Sean Sanjay. That's a little more before class. Bye.